Fungi live nearly everywhere on Earth, feeding on dead plants and animals. But in South America, one fungus has teamed up with ants to feed on fresh leaves. Over the last 50 million years, this fungus experimented with different ant farmers and unfamiliar foods. Pillar poo really stinks. Don't worry, I'm not about to eat it. It's for our fungus garden. I'm a scavenger like most ants. All day long, I bring dead insects back to my nest. These scale insects suck plant sap. I'll drink this sweet liquid and regurgitate it to my queen, the young workers, and the larvae. Wow! Those ants live very differently from my species. We don't eat or drink leftovers. We grow our own food. Let me show you. I spend my days caring for this garden. Right now, I'm planting more fungus on caterpillar poo. Do you see these tiny white threads? This is the fungus we eat every day. Our larvae eat this too. They also live in the garden. Our fate is to be eaten. That's the price we pay for food and shelter. Scientists think that ants started to farm this fungus 50 million years ago. But the fungus could also live alone and reproduce with spores released from their mushrooms. In this garden, we stop making mushrooms because ants cannot eat them. That means no more sexual reproduction for us. A parasite fungus can attack the fungus gardens. It invades from outside. It feeds on the ant fungus only. This parasite can completely destroy us, but the ants can fight it. We grow bacteria on our bodies that make antibiotics to kill this parasite. It's hard work to keep our garden healthy. The garden doesn't grow large, but there's enough food for our colony. We're fewer than 100 ants. Our life with the ants is not perfect. Because we're so crowded in these chambers, the parasite is a big problem. Our free living relatives suffer far less. That's why we keep the option to live alone. We cannot survive without the fungus. It's our only food. And we can't hunt or eat dead insects like other ants. 25 million years ago, one fungus gave up life without ants. Now it could become a better partner for the ants. Completely abandoning mushrooms allowed this fungus to evolve special bags where sugars and fat accumulate. New types of farming ants evolved to exploit these Gongolidia food packages. They're like fruit and easy to harvest. We Trachymermex ants can digest them quickly. When young queens fly out to start new colonies, they take a small piece of us. So the new gardens will be our exact copies. Being carried by queens is much more efficient than relying on the wind to drop our spores in good places. We are now fully committed to reproduce without sex. But becoming a clone led to a problem for the fungus. How to create new genetic variation? The fungus changed very little until a few million years ago. But losing sexual reproduction allowed one remarkable modification. It evolved extra copies of genes in its cells. Just like many crop plants that humans grow, this extra DNA somehow allowed the fungus gardens to become bigger. We grow better now. But when some foragers bring back flowers lying on the ground, we struggle to digest these. Our fungus can't really cope with leaves and flowers. Not like other ants living nearby. Come and see. I see thousands of them every day. They don't seem aggressive. 
Let's go find out what they're up to. Hello there. Why do you carry all these leaves and flowers? Well, we cut these from trees to take to our fungus farm. You're kidding me. You grow a fungus that likes fresh stuff? Yep, surprised. We chew these leaves into a pulp. Our fungus loves it. Two to three million years ago, something very special happened to one ant fungus. Scientists think that the DNA of three or four different gardens was combined into one fungus. Now there was a bigger variety of genes and it was ready to face new challenges. Fresh leaves have toxic chemicals to stop herbivores eating them, but we can produce enzymes that make them safe to eat. The gongolidia we eat are full of enzymes, and these survive through our guts, so our poo is very potent. It's a trick we invented to make ants move our enzymes to the new leaf pulp so we can digest it quickly. Having these little helpers is great! Ant colonies make hundreds of giant queens every year. They are experts at starting copies of the garden elsewhere body is full of fat and proteins, so no need to get food outside for the first workers. We are over a million workers here, and our fungus farm takes up hundreds of chambers. Soldiers have powerful jaws to attack invading army ants, but our biggest threat is our old enemy, the parasite fungus. Human farmers know that diseases often wipe out single crops grown in one place for many years. The ants can prevent this with novel chemicals. When I find the parasite fungus, I kill it with antibiotics from my glands. It's easier than growing bacteria on our body. See? I'm just the right size to squeeze in among the fungus and inspect. We are also very careful with our waste. Ants who work in the dump are not allowed back inside the fungus chamber, so they cannot make us or our gardens sick. I'm the Mother Queen. Ten years ago, I mated high up in the air with several males from different colonies. That was more risky, but it means a wider mix of genes for my workers. It makes them more resistant to each other's infections. Do you know that many of us are half-sisters? We have several fathers, we come in different sizes and we all have assembly line jobs. Good that your queens could change their mating behaviour. My mum said that all my sisters and I have the same father. We were lucky to get this more productive fungus in our farms. But we also changed our method of work and colonies became huge. Together with the fungus we are an awesome plant-eating machine. Living with ants meant losing our sexual reproduction. So we had to wait many million years for sufficient genetic changes to evolve new ways of living. Digesting fresh plants was a big breakthrough, but this is quite recent. It makes us unique among the fungi. Together with the ants, we are now the foremost herbivores in Latin America.